That sounds like a Bane Chapel, but only one medallion is there. Hmm. Quentin isn't far. My scrying spell returned a strong and clear result. You will come with us to rescue him, won't you? Talk to Lady Arabelle and she'll tell you what she's thinking. Valesia apprised me of the situation. I believe I know the place where she thinks they're holding Quentin. It must be the crypts below a Bane Chapel on the northern shore of the lock. Will you accompany us on this rescue mission, my dear? Smashing. This will be like that time I pulled General Gaultier out of a Reach stronghold during the border raids of 566. Now that was an adventure. Anyway, it's too bad Valesia couldn't scry the locations of the other missing delegates. I suppose you've earned the truth, and you certainly deserve my complete confidence. The three ships carried High King Emric, Queen Irene, and Prince Ernskar, son of Euron the Scald King. I dare say I've misplaced the leaders of Tamriel. I said you deserve the truth. Lord Vakaro invited the Alliance leaders here for peace talks. He hopes to end the Three Banners' War. If we find Quentin with the Ascendant Order, we may find our missing royals. Meet me at the chapel north of the lock. We'll rendezvous at a Bane Chapel on the north side of the lock. I've already sent an operative ahead to scout the area. Be prepared to defend yourself. The Ascendant Order won't give up Guild General Quentin without a fight. Not a student of politics, my dear. I understand completely. They're the leaders of the Alliances vying for the Ruby Throne. Well, Irene and Emric lead two of the Alliances. Ernskar is the son of Yorin the Scald King, who leads the Third. You poor dear. You must pay more attention to current events. Queen Irene leads the Old Mary Dominion. High King Emmerich, the Daggerfall Covenant, and Prince Ernskar represents the Ebonheart Pact, the opponents in the aptly named Three Banners War. It's complicated. The Ruby Throne sits vacant, and the Tamrielic Empire lacks an emperor. None of the alliances can stomach the idea that one of the others might win the throne. It's a wonder Bakaro and I got them to agree to these peace talks. Whatever the situation, I won't abandon Quentin to his fate. Oh, that's good. Let me write that down. Besides, we have to risk it. Both to save Quentin and to see if we can learn anything about the missing Alliance leaders. We know their medallions aren't there, but they could have lost them at sea. Regardless, if the Ascendant Order uses the chapel as a hideout, we may learn something about their plans. Or a clue as to where to search for the Alliance leaders, perhaps. There. It's open. Got any more locks you need picked? <laughs> How about you, Valesia? I think not, thank you. Now's not the time, Jakan. Let's see what awaits us down in the crypts. Hey, good looking. Didn't expect to see me turn up again? <laughs> Guess Lady Arabelle's got more for me to do than stand around on a street corner looking pretty. She calls me her operative. Indentured servant is more like it. Valesia? Oh, poor girl's smitten with me. She can't help it. And who am I to break her heart? So I flirt a little, just in case she's looking for an excuse to finally agree to my advances. I can see why you'd have that opinion. Valesia hides her true feelings well, and she's hesitant to start a romance with a colleague. But she'll come around. And if not, I can take no for an answer. It's just, well, that hasn't happened before.
can't pinpoint the exact location of Quentin's medallion. He could be anywhere in here. I'll scout ahead. Maybe someone should watch the door in case anyone follows us. I'll keep watch. Be careful. Aww. <laughs> I knew you cared. Quentin is our priority. But keep your eyes open. Who knows what the Ascendant Order left lying about? Ascendant Order propaganda. Don't be taken in. They are not as benevolent as they want you to think. No sign of Quentin, though. We should keep going. The Ascendant Order has the captains of our missing ships, but where are the Alliance leaders? First things first, clear the path to the South Crypt, please. We must rescue the captains and hope their friendship is with them. Zaji, Zuzo, thank the divines you're all right, but where are the delegates? Apologies, my lady. We lost our charges. Zaji is not all right. Not to spoil the reunion, but we're about to get company. Jakan, free the captains. Friend, keep the Ascendant Order at bay. Buy us some time.
anymore. Wait, got it. Collect Valesia and get the captains to safety, Jakarn. We'll find Quentin. The knights took Quentin away not long ago. I think they're questioning him now. Then we must hurry. Come, my friend. And there, it's Quentin. Let's listen and try to figure out what's going on. A new age of peace is upon us. An age of free peoples standing together, not kneeling to distant thrones. This is not your war, General. What say you? The war took everything from me. I. I am with you. How can I help? The Order is trying to recruit Quentin? We have to put a stop to this. Each delegate carries a medallion like this one, Magus. It serves as both an invitation and a key. Keep it. We may need your access later. Right now, I want you to kill the meddling investigator nipping at our heels. Lady Arabelle? Uh, but she's... No longer working alone. She's found some capable help. Deal with them. Oh, Quentin. I guess you've made your choice. Joo, mä oon huomannut, että, että niin kun, jos mulla on tässä nautuksasetukset liian kovalla, niin mulla krässää jostain syystä toi nautus jossain vaiheessa. Mulla nauttaa tähän niin kun, ää, laadukkaamman. Ja se on uudellaan. Okei, okay, webkameran mikki näköjään toimii. Se on nopein, nopein fiksi tähän ongelmaan. Tää joku OPS on oma, oma pukin, kun mä törmää. Mutta viime kerralla kun testattiin, niin ei tullut tätä ongelmaa. Täällä on jauhoja. Jauhto nyt se saa parkkaa. Kannattaa ottaa mukaan. Chance, Quinton. Stop these fools and strike a blow for the people. I'm sorry, Lady Arabelle, but I have made my choice. For the ascendant order! We, must. we can't allow the general to stop us. Huh. Taistelijan killan kill kenraali niin käännytettyä vuorolleen. I'm 
sorry it came to that, but well thought, my friend. Let's speak outside. Tekki, tekki palan löytyy eli eli ilmeisesti jos tän kampanjan pelaa läpi niin saa niinku dekin tohon keräilyt kostipeliin. Tää meni tänne. I didn't expect Kilton to turn on us, and I certainly didn't desire his death. It seems sympathy for the Ascendant Order is more widespread than I knew. We must be cautious, particularly with whom we choose to trust going forward. Do I expect it? No. But that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. This venture wasn't a complete failure, though. We rescued the captains of our missing ships. We need to find out what happened at sea and what befell the Alliance leaders. To Mandrake Manor. My home in Gonfalon Bay. I'll mark it on your map. Jacan Valesi and I have been using my townhouse as a base of operations. I'm confident that it is as safe from the Ascended Order as any other location we might choose. Oh, the name comes from a book I'm rather fond of. I bought the manor to serve as my home in retirement, and I keep a few mementos of my career there. Meet me there, my dear, and we'll see what our rescued captains have to say about all this. You don't mind me saying so, but you look like someone who's good at cleaning up messes. I've got a big one for you. If you're up for it, I'd pay you for your time. But I need someone quick on their feet. This mess is turning into a crisis. Yleensä kaiitit puhuu kolmessa persoonassa. Tää puhuu ensimmäisessä persoonassa, mutta se vaan tarkoittaa sitä, että se on kasvanut jossain muualla kuin Elseveerissä. Ei siis puhu siis täydinkielessä kielenä Talgra. Ja sillä on niinku toi ylhäisaltioiden niinku vaatteet päällä. I was experimenting with a spell while my mentor magister Iren was away. But the magic went awry. Aha. If it doesn't get dealt with, it's going to spread beyond this area and harm a bunch of innocent people. I can't fix it on my own. So I need help. I need to develop a counter spell. But first, their protective wards around the area need to be restored by someone other than myself, so I don't taint the magic. That's where you come in. Like I said, if you help, I can pay. Hold still. You'll need this unless you want to spend the next few hours as a sheep. Not as glamorous as it sounds. And here, take these crystals. You'll need them to restore the wards. The first one is in the meadow just up the hill to the north. Pomo, pomo muutti niin muita muita ryhmänäisiä niin kuin lampaiksi. Mostly they serve to keep errant magic inside Tordriak's boundaries. You know the standard three points of protection thing. Unfortunately, my spell kicked those wards in the teeth. They're not protecting anything now. The spell I created has my magical mark on it, if that makes sense. There are certain types of magic that can be affected by their creator, intentionally or not. Messing with forces already attuned to you can have unpredictable results. Exactly. Magic is powerful and great and all that, but it can be pretty sensitive. Fussy, Magister Irin likes to say. And since my spell is already wreaking havoc across Tordreok, I'd rather not take any unnecessary risks while fixing it. The name's Ember. Well, technically it's a nickname, but it's all I use. I'm Magister Irin's apprentice. I think he regrets taking me on sometimes, but he's got a big heart. He saw that I had no formal training and told me to come here to learn. This is Tordreok. There's a big wizard's tower. You can't miss it. I've been living there with Magister Irin, plus a few people who keep up the grounds and the tower itself. All of whom have been affected by my spell, I'd guess. All you have to do is place those crystals I gave you on the three protective wards. It'll be easy, I promise. Mostly trying to keep anything with ill intent away from you. My errant spell seems to be affecting the creatures around Tordreak in all kinds of ways. Things that were once docile might be a little um grumpy right now. Yeah, to pelimaailman täällä on noita muita pelaajia. 
Here we are. I'm going to cut. That's one ward restored. Let's go fix the next one. It's in the glade just west of here. I really should have paid more attention to Magister Eren when he was explaining how these protective wards work. I should have paid more attention to him in general, actually. The next one is in the glade. It's just across the way to the west. Unfortunately, no. The wards are just to keep the unstable magic inside the bounds of Tordrea. That way, I can work on a counter spell without worrying about the original spell spreading. Magister Eren made sure I knew what they were and what purpose they served as soon as he took me on as an apprentice. He wanted me to be familiar with as much as Tordreak as possible, or at least the parts that keep it safe. Enchanted cow. This is the last one. Let's get this over with quick. Place the warding crystal. That's all the wards. Let's talk outside. I need to figure out what to do next. My rogue spell is to blame for most of the weirdness happening around Tordreok, but it almost seems like these damned moats are becoming dangerous. They're doing more than just mischievous magic. Ugh, fish biscuits. I need to figure this out. I'm not sure. The moats aren't new. They're always hanging around Tordreok. I think they're drawn to places like this, but there was nothing in my spell that should have made them act malevolent, and there are a lot more around than usual. Yes. I can make traps to contain them, but I'm still worried about their behavior. While I work on the traps, could you head into the tower and look to Magister Eren's things? He might have a book with more information about the moats. See if you can find anything in the tower about the moats. I'll meet you there and start on the traps. Magister Eren. What the... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was a little funny. Ultra works. <laughs> I forgot to put an enchantment on Hildressa to protect Uno her from the did. magic. Oh, don't look at me like that. It wasn't on purpose. Uh -huh. oh, these moats are becoming a real knot in my tail. I'll work on these traps while you rifle through Magister Erin's things. One of those moats got to her. Thankfully, it was just one of the mischievous ones. It turned her into a guar. Don't worry, it's just an illusion. She'll be disoriented, but unharmed. In fact, I think some time as a reptile might be good for her. No, illusions on this place are so powerful that, like, what is it, like, Grey Moor is that one Danver Seikkali and other things pulloxi illusio. Kaikki näkee sen pullan, se kuvittelee itse olevan pullo. To be fair, she didn't like me first. When Magister Eren took me in, Holdressa didn't waste any time deciding I was a no-good street urchin who's too impulsive for her own good. She's not entirely wrong, but she never even gave me a chance. Magister Eren knows what he signed up for. Taking me on, I'll admit it's no small feat, but he's never judged me for being the way I am. Which is why I don't want to disappoint him by ruining his tower with unhinged magic. <laughs> I forgot to put an enchantment on Hildressa to protect her from the magic. Oh, don't look at me like one of those modes got to her. I think so. I'm using a variation of something I was already working on. I enchanted a bit of silver for each of them. It's simple. When a moat gets near one of the traps, it should suck it up like... <laughs> the original idea was an olive branch for Hildressa. A spell that cleans up dust. My magicka practice kicks up a lot of the stuff, so I wanted to make something that would help her out a bit. I'll make the traps using the same design. I'll get to work on the traps for the moats. Good thoughts only. Yeah,
Eiköhän toimi jopa mikki hiiressä. Rähtinohli, kyllä kiitos. Investigator Veili ja <laughs> Haunted Lighthouse. useful about them I finished the traps once we set them up they should take care of the moats then I can sort out the livestock and hold dressa and at some point create a counter spell to fix everything for good did you learn anything useful oh I read that one with the wind sorrow lady right oh, what if my spell disturbed her and that's why the moats are acting up that's troubling and also a problem for future ember let's focus on one thing at a time or two things actually the traps are finished but the livestock and Heldressa are still a problem I want to figure out a way to return them all to their natural forms before the illusion does any damage could you set the traps while I do that here I'll mark some places to set the traps they're in a pack by the work tables outside while you do that I'll figure out how to fix the livestock and Heldressa then I can work on my counter spell meet me by the livestock pens when you're done Good luck setting up the traps. I'll meet you by the livestock pens when you're. Yeah, we're at that knee pasty. Pen lagger. So you must go back. Lanza for Zira. We're gonna operate you. In her sense, she. Alright, let's get you two back to your regular chicken cell. Ha! I knew it would work! Run along, ladies! You're back! The traps worked, didn't they? See? I told you I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Speaking of which, I think I figured out a way to return the livestock to their original forms. I made something. I know it looks like a spoon, but, uh, well, <laughs> technically it is a spoon, but I enchanted spoon it now. And we call it the Spoon of Undo. I just tested it on those chickens. It removes the illusions perfectly. Normally I wouldn't bother, but illusions can be disorienting and cause terrible headaches. I don't want any of the animals suffering while I come up with my counter spell. Oh, and Huldressa. I suppose I don't really want her suffering either. Here, take the Spoon of Undo. If you could run around and fix the livestock and Heldressa, that will give me a chance to finally whip up this counterspell. By the time you're finished, I'm sure I'll have something figured out. Just look around for people making animal noises. I'm sure they won't be hard to find. And tell them I'm sorry when you change them back, would you? As for Heldressa, I'm all in favor of leaving her as a guar. <laughs> Just kidding. Kind of. <laughs> it sounds cute when you say it. It's a pretty simple reversing enchantment. It should counteract the magic from the moats and dispel the illusion. Basic stuff. Not even I can mess up. I wasn't trying to turn animals into people, I swear. I had a theory about animating the inanimate. One of Magister Irin's texts gave me the idea. Hmm, that's probably why he locks so many of his books away, now that I think about it. Well, I'm hoping to avoid that scenario. But if it does happen, I'm not sure. He's an odd one. I'm too old for him to punish, and he's not really the type to dole out discipline anyway. I think he'd be disappointed, which is so, so much worse. Well, they're still animals. They might run around a bit, but I doubt they'll make it too difficult for you. They're not exactly geniuses. Personally, if I was a sheep and got turned into a human, I think I'd go off on an adventure. I'll be in the tower working on the counter spell. Come find me when you're done. Yeah. Come find me when you're done. 
omassa muodossaan. Missä toinen meni? Was I just a guar? This is all Ember's fault. Oh, I feel strange. It was quite unpleasant. Thank you for saving me. I know I'm nothing to gawk at, but I prefer to look like this instead of a guar. All right? All right? She made me look like a guar. What do you think? I told Magister Aaron that Ember was troubled the moment she showed up. Trouble, I said. But did he listen? There wouldn't be anything to work out if that careless Kashid would listen more and mind her elders. She's brash and often quite rude. Why am I standing here talking to you? I'm going back to my kitchen and I may just have a glass of brandy. <laughs> No, okay. Mä räjähti. I assume Huldressa is back to her charming self. I've run into a problem. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I've nearly finished my counter spell. But I need to find a tome called the mirrored way to complete it. I know Magister Eren has it, but it's not with the rest of his books. That's the bad news. Because if the mirrored way isn't with the rest of his things, it's probably locked away in his arcane library. The library he specifically forbids me from entering. The tome I need has to be in there. Without it, I can't make the counter spell. Magister Eren has warned me not to enter his library a thousand times. But these are special circumstances. There will probably be some magical traps inside meant to keep me out. So I'll need your help getting the book while I deal with them. Once we find the mirrored way in Magister Erin's library, I can finish my counter spell. I just hope the old man wasn't serious about putting something dangerous inside to keep me out. <laughs> he was definitely kidding. Had to be. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Not sure. I picked the lock on the place as soon as I figured out he didn't want me getting in there. He since put up protections and told me to stay out unless I have his permission. I'm sure he's got some kind of ward or barrier set up. It wasn't hard. Mages like Magister Eren tend to think in very magical ways. They'll put magic reinforcements over every inch of a place, but forget a few pins and a good ear can foil them. And to be fair to him, I'm a very good lockpick. Necessity. I wasn't exactly raised in the lap of luxury. Not even in the lap of genteel poverty, for that matter. You get good at things like that if you don't want to be hungry. Or caught by guards or angry merchants. Follow me. The library is downstairs. Give me just a moment to pick the lock. All right, let's get in and out as quick as we can. Don't sense anything. Maybe the old man was bluffing. 
fish biscuits. I warned you, Ember. This spell is specifically targeting me. I'll figure out a way down. You just focus on getting the book. Get out of here before I set off something else. <laughs> Master Irin really didn't want me getting in there, huh? I have to admire the dedication. I didn't know the old man had it in him. He had something to target me specifically. What a sneaky old goat. <laughs> Good thing I had you with me. You managed to get the book, right? Let me see it. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm -mm. Nope, not that. That would be bad. What about this? Oh, here it is. It's Amahan is Exis, not Gahan Amexis is. <laughs> Good thing I checked. See? That's personal growth right there. Two different arcane glyphs. They do entirely different things when written and pronounced aloud. The second one is what I need for my counter spell. Now, all that's left is to get to the old ritual circle and cast this. I'll need your help again. The counterspell should set everything right in Tordreyak. Things will be just as Magister Irin left them, and I won't have to face his furrowed brow. I'll need your help at the ritual site. Casting a spell this big is a two-person job. The old ritual circle is a place of power, and I'm going to need all the help I can get. I plan to draw on the magic there to help strengthen my counterspell. Magister Aaron told me about it. This probably isn't how he wanted to implement the lesson. Maybe? Old tales and myths always start from some truth at some point in time. The moats around here seem to be affected by more than my spell, is all I'm saying. I always expect the worst. I find it helpful. <laughs> if luck is with us, maybe just some irritated wildlife we can deal with as we've done before. Or some of the bolder moats. But, if there is some truth to the ancient tales, then maybe we find some sort of really cranky wind spirit. Well, I the ritual circle is just up the hill to the north. I'll meet you there. Here we go. We should be able to see it materialize. Any second now. No. Work. We did it. Come on, let's get back to the tower. You used to work under these conditions. I was turned into a guar. A guar! Of course, Holdresser. I promise to address the situation. See that you do. Holdressa sold me out, didn't she? Let me speak to your associate first, Ember. So, you were witness to the events here. And as I understand it, you had a hand in bringing them to an end. For that, I thank you. And if you'll indulge me, I do have a few lingering questions. What in the world happened? <laughs> I don't know what I expected, leaving her to her own devices here, even temporarily. Ember and Trouble are old friends. I can still feel the repercussions of this spell gone uh, awry, as you say. Uh, do I have you to thank for rectifying it? I see. As trying as she can be, she truly is a talented mage. She can be impatient. Given her natural inclination to magic, it's understandable. I always knew I was perhaps not the best teacher for her. I took her in because I knew I couldn't leave someone as skilled and impulsive as her to her own devices. 
But I have neither the time nor aptitude to teach her properly. It's my own failing. Speak, Joro, would you? I must collect my thoughts. <laughs> Don't worry. Ember isn't in any trouble. While I am not pleased about my traumatized cook, I, I must concede that everything is back in order and the consequences of Ember's magic weren't dire. Still, I must consider what to do now. I don't mean to give the impression that Ember is incapable of learning. That's not the case. She's a bright mage, one of the brightest I've ever seen. Everything I've taught her, she's taken to like flame to parchment. But therein lies the problem. Just like a flame, Ember wants to devour everything around her. Her appetite for knowledge is ceaseless. Uh, that's good quality in a mage, but not necessarily one I'm equipped to deal with. By my own admission, I'm methodical, cautious. By the books. Exactly right. Ember needs someone who can keep up with her. Someone who thrusts themselves headlong into adventure so that she may temper herself and her magic beside them. Perhaps when I was younger, I could have been that for her, but not now. Hey, you. Let's talk while Magister Irin collects his thoughts. I thought Magister Irin would be as mad as a wet dragon, but he looks amused. It's probably because he's wanted to turn Holdressa into a guar at some point. He just won't admit it. And the fact that we fixed it all before he got here helped. Well, I've been thinking. I'm grateful to Magister Eren, but sitting and reading about magic has little appeal to me. This whole thing just proved to me that I'm too restless here. I want to do magic, not just study it. Go on adventures, see things. I think it's time. I've been given good training here, but I still have a lot to learn. For me, the best teachers are curiosity and experience. I learn best by doing, so I need to get out in the world and continue my training. Ember the okay, Sorcerer. Okay, that's the company only. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Because it's company only. But that can come later. First, take this. It's not much, but you deserve it. I think we made a good team today. If you ever need a sorcerer who has your back, let me know. <laughs> We'd have some fun. This is really a very interesting personal quest. Magister Eren, I'm grateful for your teachings and your patience. But I think it's time for me to move on. The world is an excellent teacher for one of your talents, Ember. Do write me occasionally. I should go pack my things. And say goodbye to Holdressa. <laughs> Not a chance. Alright, saatiin kompanioon. Ilmeisesti näissä lisäosissa tulee kompanioon ja sitten niin kuin ainakin pää kerran vuodessa. Näkö on toista avattu. Okei, täältä saa toisen, toisenkin vielä ilmeisesti tästä saaresta. 